Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I'm going to give you guys my player profile on Keelan Cole and break down the strengths, weaknesses, expectations. You guys know the drill. If you're not subscribed to Jets Media, please make sure you do so. And if you want to check me out over on Instagram and Twitter, that is at NYJets underscore media. And if you enjoy the video, please do not forget to thumbs it up. With that being said, let's jump right into Keelan Cole. So as you guys know, I have a whole series here on my channel where I break down each player. I did the entire Jets rookie draft class on Drafted free agents um now we're diving into all the free agents we signed and now next up is keelan cole i already broke down carl lawson and Corey davis so i'm really excited to break down keelan cole because i feel like he's a very underrated guy that we acquired in free agency and i feel like he's gonna have a way bigger impact than us jets fans can even expect he is a guy that has been getting first team reps in uh, otas we'll see how that transitions into training camp but he's a veteran that is 28 years old coming off a very good season so far with the jacksonville jaguars he was in a very crowded wide receiver room he wasn't really somebody that was you know the number one target over there and i feel like he is a spectacular catch waiting to happen he's a veteran he knows the game of football and i just feel like he's a perfect guy to provide depth at that wide receiver position we have such a deep unit right now at the wide receiving group i think he's going to be number five on the depth chart if i had to guess because we have Corey davis denzel mims jameson crowder elijah moore keelan cole those are our top five receivers it's pretty remarkable what joe douglas did with this wide receiving group in one season because you remember last year our wide receivers were abysmal not even on paper just in terms of the injuries we had no depth this year it's different we actually have depth braxton barrios is going to be wide receiver six and he is going to be a beast in my opinion so i really do think keelan cole even if he's not wide receiver five even if he is wide receiver five he's going to get a lot of playing time because remember this is the Mike LaFleur offense that is a tree from Kyle Shanahan, obviously, that needs a lot of players at the wide receiver position. It's not just like uh, wide receivers one through three, they're the only people that see the field. Wide receivers one through five, they all get playing time every single game, and Keelan Cole is going to have a big role in this offense. So let's get right into his strength. So the first strength that I've noticed from Keelan Cole in his career is definitely catching traffic. He has the ability to go up there and make the grab over a defender, over two defenders. He's long and lanky. He's somebody that can reel it in, and that's really huge for a guy like uh, Zach Wilson who loves to improvise, throw the ball up. He can make a play happen even if it's not the greatest throw. He can go up there and bail out the quarterback. Not saying Zach Wilson needs that, but it's not a bad thing to have to have for a rookie QB in Zach Wilson. Another thing that he is really good in is a spectacular catch. He has really insane highlights. If you look up his highlight reel in Jacksonville, he has one-handed catches, you know, diving catches. He can go up there and make those those crazy plays where you're mind boggled, where it's all over ESPN. Um, he didn't do this consistently, but there's flashes of the ability to go up there and make the crazy spectacular catch for sure. Another underrated aspect to Keelan's, Keelan Cole's game is his punt returning ability. We do not know who's going to be the starting punt returner yet. I think it's a, there's a lot of options on this team. The special team is going to be really fun to watch this season, in my opinion. But I do think that he's going to be in there uh, in the competition to be the starting punt returner. He has a lot of punt returns for touchdowns, and he's somebody that can definitely provide an impact in special teams. Um, he's also a deep threat. He's somebody that can take the top off the defense. He has the ability to track the ball. Um, he doesn't really beat you with his next level speed. It's kind of like his double moves. And even if there's a guy draped all over him, he has the ability to go up there and, and get the ball at the high point. Like I mentioned earlier, and there's catching traffic, but he's definitely a deep threat. And then the last thing that I noticed is his durability. He's usually always available. He doesn't really have too many injury concerns, which is definitely huge for a guy that's going to be playing wide receiver for the New York Jets. Because as we know, Injuries has been a problem as of late. Now let's get into Keelan Cole's weaknesses. The first thing I notice is definitely consistency. He has some issues where he has a game where he goes off, he gets targeted, and he has crazy games, and then he just next game does not have any use at all um he drops some passes he's not really involved in the offense he doesn't get targeted he doesn't get open and whether that's the coaching or whether that's him we don't know but i definitely noticed that consistency is a reason why he's not known as a really really good wide receiver in the nfl um another thing is run after the catch uh this is interesting because the yak ability in this offense is definitely huge but that's not really his game he's type of that wide receiver where you go up get the ball and you go down you don't really rely on getting up those yards not saying he cannot pick up yards out to the catch that's not a huge weakness but it's just not a strength of his which is why i brought it up and then another thing is definitely drops uh, where he's wide open the ball's right in his chest and he drops it um it's definitely a part of his game that definitely lacks uh hopefully the coaching staff can get in there um not every single receiver can catch every ball that's thrown to him but i definitely noticed drops is an issue but not too much of an issue i don't want to make it seem like he's gonna drop every single ball but there are some times where he's 
he's in stride. He tries. He looks the his head away from the ball at times, and he drops it. He tries to make a move before the ball's even caught, and that's something I definitely noticed. Now let's get into his expectations that I have for him going into the 2021 season with the New York Jets. I think that he's going to provide great depth at the wide receiver position. Like I alluded to earlier, we have so many guys that can come in and sub in. I feel like he's going to play on the outside along with Denzel and Corey Davis and Elijah. Uh, I really think that. There's a lot of rumors that he might even start over Denzel Mims. I'm not buying that just yet. I want to go through this training camp. I feel like Denzel Mims is way too much of a freakish talent to not be starting. But at the same time, like I said, this is an offense where it doesn't really matter who starts because everybody's going to get their opportunity to play every single game. There's going to be different packages, people playing on the outside, people playing on the inside. I feel like Keelan Cole can do both. And I really think that he's going to provide even a really good impact in the offense this season. Um, and then the next expectation is have a role in every single game. I really feel like he's going to get targeted every single game, whether that's one target or even five targets. He's going to be heavily used in this offense, and that's something that we're not used to um, going into this brand new offense of Mike LaFleur. You know, we're, we're transitioning from Adam Gase's offense to this, which is one of the most successful historical offenses in the NFL history. Every single where this regime has gone, it's been proving to play well everywhere, and it's a it's an offense that needs to have a ton of wide receivers out there. Even there could be a five receiver package uh, out on the field at once there could be four receivers and Keelan Cole like I said he's going to be out there with the Jets he's going to be making plays and I feel like he's going to become a fan favorite his personality is great everything about him is awesome so that's really my thoughts of Keelan Cole as a wide receiver we brought him in in free agency on a one-year deal let me know down below your thoughts of Keelan Cole what are your expectations for him if you have any of your own strengths or weaknesses you want to break down please feel free to do so that does it for this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one let's go Jets peace